Welcome to the DZ Report. Don't you know I love haters? Now, Georgia judge um, slashes Tiffany Haddish's court-ordered drug tests in half after comedian hashes out plea deal in L.A. A Georgia judge agreed to reduce the amount of drug tests that Tiffany Haddish must submit to while awaiting trial in her um, DUI case. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com last week, a hearing was held where Haddish legal team argued to modify the comedian's bond conditions. Haddish was arrested on January 14, 2022. Officers pulled her over and determined she had been smoking marijuana. The comedian was arrested for driving under the influence. The entertainer accused the officer of an unlawful search. She claimed the police said they followed her because her car matched a description of a call of a person asleep in their car. Haddish said her car did not match the car being looked for. Her lawyer argued officers did not report observing any traffic violations or any less safe driving during the one minute he observed Miss Haddish operate, operate her vehicle. Accordingly, the traffic stop was illegal and any evidence derived therefrom must be suppressed. The girl trip star demanded all fruits of the unlawful seizure not be allowed as evidence in the case, including any statement she made and the results of the blood test she took. On November 24, 2023, Haddish was arrested for a second DUI in Los Angeles. Police found a comedian asleep in her car while parked in the street in Beverly Hills. Following the second arrest, Georgia prosecutors demanded certain conditions be added to Haddish's bond. They asked that she not be allowed to drink or use drugs, including hemp products such as CBD. In addition, the prosecutors asked that Haddish be ordered to submit to weekly drug tests. In December, the judge signed off on the request and ordered Haddish to be tested weekly. Earlier this month, Haddish reached a plea deal in, in her L.A. criminal case, Prosecutors agreed to drop all DUI charges in exchange for a reckless driving charge. The comedian was sentenced to probation. The Georgia case was set for trial earlier this month, but it was pushed to April. At the recent hearing, the judge presiding over Haddish's ongoing DUI case granted a motion brought by the comedian. The judge ruled Haddish will only have to submit to bi-monthly, which is twice per month, drug testing instead of every week so tiffany haddish um basically basically um of course you know has been throwing shots <clears throat> at Monique and like I said Monique if you're on my rumble make sure you guys follow me on rumble um and you guys will get the full details of what was said from Monique not Monique but um Tiffany Haddish to Monique um responding back to what Monique said now now Tiffany Haddish you know, in the past, I've told people I do not find her hilarious. I think her comedy is very on on the screen was very vulgar. I felt like they portrayed her in such a demeaning way, especially for a black woman. And Tiffany Haddish is fine. She's she's beautiful to me. Tiffany Haddish is a beautiful young woman, but some of the things she does to me is kind of questionable. Um, she starred in some movies and stuff with Kevin Hart, you know. But this is the thing. People call the kettle black. See, me, I'm not going to um, call out a person or say something about a person because I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. I've done some things that I'm not proud of in my lifetime. And to me, for her to... um disrespect Monique's husband like she did is very telling that you never had a real man um 
lead you. Um, you never had a real man embrace the great things about you. You just had men use you for what's in between your legs or your mouth. And that's not, to me, bringing the best out of you. That's not showing the better qualities of you. And see, women like Tiffany Haddish are tools being used by whoever's over them, whoever their manager is, whoever is the person in charge of their career. Now, Monique never said anything wrong to you. Now, Cat Williams... Cat Williams had no right to say what he said about you. I even made a video defending Tiffany Haddish on that because Cat Williams is is cool, but Tiffany never did nothing to him. Kevin Hart never did nothing to him. And I told people that that Cat Williams was blackballed because of his mouth, because he was exposing Hollywood and exposing the execs, exposing what was going on in the mansion parties. And you can't do that if you're in that line of business. Hollywood doesn't like their stuff being put out there. They don't. And Professor Griff, shout out to that brother. He basically, he basically, um, <laughs> play by play Cat Williams demise because he knew Cat Williams talks way too much. And he said it. He's like, he talked too reckless, you know. And they went with Kevin Hart because Kevin Hart, because Kevin Hart, is safe. He's not going to air out the business. He's not going to talk about, um, you know, what's, what's going on and everything, you know, behind closed doors, you know, so. But Tiffany Haddish thing is you're dealing with getting DUIs and stuff and you got two of them. That either means you're going through something or you're trying to hide something or you're trying to drink your problems away. Now, the reason I, I'm doing this video, people are going to be mad. Oh, you're trying to tear somebody down. I'm not tearing it down. I'm just showing you the kettle is black. You know, like D.L. Hoogley comes out and say, oh, you don't got a good relationship with the son. And then the son just comes out sounding like a little crybaby to me. Sound like a bitter, bitter woman. You know, I can't I can't talk about what he went through, then didn't go through it. But look, my thing is this. People at like they could just throw stones and at like their house is full of steel. No, your house is glass. And this also proves that it's glass. You're saying all this stuff about Monique, but Monique isn't getting pulled over for DUI. Now, maybe early in her life and her career, she made mistakes, which she has owned up to. But my thing is, Tiffany Haddish, you said that you like when people come to your face and say things. In my opinion, why didn't you go to Monique's face and say anything? Why didn't you even reach out to Monique and talk to her? Because I know why. Your handlers want you to say and do all this type of stuff. Now, I disagree with Kat saying what he says. I feel like it's a code. Um, he should not have said anything about you because you did nothing wrong. He should never attack Kevin Hart because Kevin Hart did nothing wrong to him. The people who did something wrong to him was um was um what's their name? Can't even think of their name. Um You know, the person who did something wrong to him was Hollywood. You know, it wasn't it wasn't you. You know, it wasn't Kev, you know, but for you to say what you said to Monique and, you know, not even um, not even um, say anything, you know, go and say anything personally, you know, to me is a slap in the face. You know, a real big slap in the face. Um, I think um, you were hiding. 
behind Kevin and all the others and stuff. You know, I just, you know, felt like you could have said something um, to her face and talked to her, but you didn't. You didn't talk to her at all. You just wanted to go off of a narrative and say, talk about her husband, but she's doing well. She's not getting pulled over for DUI. She's not having to go to court and stuff. You know, my thing is don't don't throw shots if you're not willing to take it. Um, you were upset because Cat Williams just came out of nowhere being disrespectful to you. But then you come out of nowhere dissing tip dissing um Monique about her Netflix deal when you have no idea what's going on with the Netflix deal. You out here getting drunk and toast and this ain't allegedly you out here getting drunk driving and shit. <laughs> driving and endangering people out here. You know? So don't call the kettle black. Me, I'm not gonna call the kettle black. Because I've drunk and drive. Thank God I never got caught with DUI and stuff, but I've done that before. But I'm not finna judge anybody. I don't judge anybody now because it's like my shit stink. <laughs> I walk around, people are like, oh, you walk around, man, my shit stink. You can smell my shit from a mile away, you know. But you walking around acting like your shit don't stink. And that, those are people that I cannot connect with. If you're acting like your shit ain't stank, like you just walking around here for breeze all day, your shit smelling like fragrance <laughs> and flowers and shit. No, your shit smell like garbage sewer. So it's it's like you you got to learn how to pick your battles and say what you got to say. You know, for you to say things like you did is out of bounds. And, you know. And, you know, maybe y'all can sit down and have that talk, but I'm glad that they cut your case back where you don't have to get drug tested every week is bi monthly now, which I'm glad you got that sentence um, change for yourself. But at the end of the day, Tiffany, just do your work, get your money, do your thing. Stop trying to speak on people when you don't know their situation. Stop trying to talk and judge people when you don't know their situation and stop acting like you high and mighty because as a comedian, you suck. Now, as a as a person on the movie, like a, a comedic role in that, like a movie or something funny, she's very funny. She's funny in those type of roles, but stand up. No, that's not your forte. So thank you guys for listening, man. You know, make sure you guys find me on Rumble. Make sure you follow me. Um, on Patreon is going to be up soon. Um, I'm, I got to get everything together, the memberships and all of that. And I'll let you guys know what the membership is going to be. So you guys don't be lost. It's, it's, I think it's going to be for a dollar. I'm either going to make it for a dollar or three dollars. You know, I'm trying to see. You know, I'm trying to see how I'm going to do this. But I'll let you guys know. But, um, you know, make sure you follow me on Rumble. Um, You guys can donate. You already know how to the cash app. You know, you guys can support me on my other page. Welcome to HDII TV. You know, I'm doing a video on here because I want to build this up, you know, so, so yeah, you guys be safe out there, man. This is the DZ Report signing off. Peace.